In today's video, we will review how to import files and images into Visual Lighting 2020, and in the case of images and PDFs, how to scale and crop the imported background. First, we'll click on the File tab, then go down to Import. From here, we can see the different types of files we can import into Visual. We can separate these into two groups. The first group is comprised of CAD files, visual lighting files, and SketchUp files. These are the files that will import at a one-to-one -one scale and will not require manually scaling them later. The second group, image files and PDF files, do require scaling after import. For this first section, we will be importing a CAD file. From the File menu, we will select Import and then the CAD file option. Next, we will use the selection window to navigate to where the file is, select the CAD file we want to import, then click Open to complete the process. We now have a properly scaled CAD background in the design environment. Let's look at importing a SketchUp file. We will click on the file menu, then go to Import, and then select SketchUp. We will use the selection window to navigate to where the SketchUp file is, select it, and click Open. As you can see, Visual has brought in a scale model, including any furniture that is in the project. The SketchUp entities are brought in as solids, so if we go to View and then click Shaded, we can see this more clearly. The associated colors are also imported in. You can also import a full visual file into your project. Go to File, Import, Visual Lighting File. We will then have the option to choose which items of our visual file we wish to import. By default, all object types will be imported in to your new visual file, but you can uncheck the entities you don't want to bring into your new file. We will click Import to open up the dialog window, then select our visual file and click Open. You will be prompted to choose an insertion point. You can either left click to choose a point with your mouse or use the insertion point command line in the bottom left corner. As you can see, our entire project has been imported into Visual and placed in our project. Now let's look at importing one of the items that does need to be scaled. From the ribbon, we will click File, then Import. Then for this, we will select the Image File option. We will locate our image file, select it, and click Open. This time we will see a preview window to see what image we are bringing in. Click OK to complete the selection. We can now place the image anywhere in our design. While we could place it by left-clicking anywhere on the screen, for this instance, we're going to use the command prompt so we can place it at an exact coordinate. So for this, we will enter 0, 0, 0 in the command prompt window and hit enter. Zoom all will center the drawing. Now that we have the image imported, we need to scale our drawing. First, let's zoom in on the drawing and use the measurement tool to see what the actual measurements are. For measuring in a straight line, I like to turn on orthogonal mode to make sure it stays straight and we get an accurate measurement. As you can see, our wall here is showing seven feet or half of what the actual measurement should be. In order to fix this, we can go to the Modify tab and then go to Scale. We have three choices for scaling. Uniform will scale the entire drawing by a scale factor that we can enter. For example, if we enter two, the drawing will be twice as big as it currently is. 
If we were to enter 0.5, it will decrease the size of our drawing by half. Let's go ahead and scale this drawing using the uniform command. Using the measurements we made earlier, we can go ahead and use the scale factor of 2 and then left click on the drawing to select it and right click to complete the selection. We will then set a base point for our drawing with a left click and the program will complete the action. If we go to our measurement tool and measure the room again, we will see that it is now 14 feet. I've reset our drawing back to the original size so we can look at the other scale options. Similar to uniform, non-uniform will use the scale factor to change the size of your drawing. With non-uniform, however, it will allow you to control the scale on an X, Y, and Z axis basis. For instance, this will increase the size by two on the X axis while leaving the Y and Z axis the same. In this case, non-uniform is not our best option. So we will move on to our last one, which is the reference scale. The reference scale option uses an established dimension to scale the whole drawing. In our drawing, we will use the 14 foot measurement of the room. We will come up to the new distance box, enter 14, and then left click to select our drawing, then right click to complete the selection. Next, we will zoom into our drawing, choose our first point, and then move over to our final point. As you can see, our drawing is now scaled up to the new measurement. Finally, to demonstrate the crop command, I'm going to get rid of the deck. There are two ways to get to the crop command. In the design manager, which is part of the left sidebar, you can expand the references section, expand background graphics, expand images, and then select your image. You'll notice that it will be highlighted red in the design environment and it will open up the properties tab. You can also use the properties tool on the ribbon and select your image in the design environment. It will also be highlighted red and brought up into the properties tab. From here, you will see that there is a command for crop. The image will be automatically selected. So what we will do is draw a box around our drawing making sure to get rid of the elements that we do not want to leave. We will left click to make our first point and then left click to complete the action. We now have a properly scaled and cropped drawing. Finally, let's look at importing a PDF file. To import a PDF file, we will go to File, Import, and then PDF File dialog window, we will navigate to where our PDF is, select it, and then click open. You will see a preview of the image that you will be bringing in. If you have multiple pages in your PDF file, you can use the page selector to choose which page you wish to import. Once you've selected your page, you will click OK then use either the left mouse button or the command line in the bottom left corner to insert your drawing. Like images, you should scale PDFs using one of the three scaling options shown earlier in this video. This concludes this instructional video. Please send any questions or comments to the Visual Support Center at support at visual-3d.com.